Project Shadow, the most amazing Shadow short film to ever exist. This little metal song is kind of in my way, but like he's so great that it's fine. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, dude. Dude, this looks amazing. I mean, like for a fan film, you know, we expect a little bit better from the actual movies, but that's like way better than that Sonic they first crapped out. If that toy broke, I'm gonna be so sad. Some time ago, Professor Gerald Robotnik was appointed to lead a top secret project at Space Colony Arc, creating the ultimate life form, a being that would never age, never get sick, and never die so it could fight and defend the United Federation for any other. But the birth of his granddaughter changed the professor's plans. Maria had an unknown syndrome that prevented her from living on Earth. What? He needed to develop a cure. I did but not know that. was in a hurry, and he needed to continue on his work for the safety of his granddaughter. To replicate the healing abilities from the ultimate life form was the only solution. With his research, he discovered the Master Emerald, an artifact of unlimited power. And with the shard of it, he replicated the Chaos Energy and created the Chaos Drives, making amazing creations possible, but none that could achieve his goal. While in Angel Island, the professor heard a legend about a being capable of perfectly channeling Chaos Energy. I'm already that so locked into this right now. Beginning. I don't mean to be mean, but like if she's not fit to survive on Earth, that almost seems like she like like a like natural selection. I guess if he's got the power to fix her though, like a grandfather's love would I, I don't know, I'm just a dick. Damn, Shadow's so awesome looking. Look at his cool little Converse shoes. What a cool guy. He's like the most badass thing that I could easily punt across a living room. You know what I mean? By far. He's got such cool eyeballs. His design, his colors, everything about him, dude. He's just so great. And now he's Keanu Reeves. Like what? Those look like comfortable shoes. I'll bet you could run all day in shoes like that and not feel a thing. Man, I gotta get me a space station. What a gangster way to look down upon Earth. Can't get enough of it, huh? Yeah. It's just so beautiful. It looks even better from up close. Until you see the bad part. All the war, hunger, and violence. That exist down there. Oh, push off. We humans can't take care of ourselves. Oh, well, it doesn't matter what happens. We are always trying to find something to destroy one another. How is she? She's sleeping now. But only after she made me tell her stories. Incredible course, mustache. Incredible. I'm glad to see that you are getting used to it. <laughs> she likes that you are the one to tuck her in. Because then she can dream about living on Earth. Even if I'd never been down there. And by the way, what were the test results? Oh, the same as every time. Your DNA is completely chaotic. It's impossible to decode it. So, no progress? Nothing? Nothing yet. Nothing. Hopeful. What a hopeful tone. You're a freak and we don't know what's going on with you. That's basically how I interpreted that. And then Sonic sneaks aboard and kills everyone. Mm hmm. Sonic's the real villain of this franchise. We were just too blind to see it. It tails that sick bastard. I feel like you'd have to be careful taking a crap at these speeds because it would exit his butt at such velocity it would fly through a spaceship, you know what I mean? Leak through the hole like xenomorph blood. That was nice. 
with heavy bonding time between these two. I sure hope nothing tragic happens to one of them and sets the other one off on a course of evil destruction and and justice. Pretty wholesome, man. Pretty beautiful scene. He looks young. He looks in like kid shadow. I don't know. Damn, dude, I'm way too hungry to be watching this scene right now. Crazy how well animated this is. I believe it. I believe they're hanging out. Oh, isn't that wholesome? The billion dollar mega freaking moon. Can we get these people a couch for God's sakes? The cold marble floor of a spacecraft. It's gotta be freezing up there, bro. Like the cold vacuum of space on a hard metal floor. Mm-hmm. I guess Shadow's probably pretty warm. I don't know what they got going on. How innocent and beautiful. Dude. Shoes. shoes with enough propulsion to get you all the way to another planet. This is how he gets his shadow shoes. And way more advanced. Start skating to activate the rocket propulsion and run faster than any living being. Created by the genius minds of Maria and Gerald Robotnik, the perfect shoes for Shadow the Hedgehog are the Air Shoes. Gotta get me a pair of those. That commercial worked on me <laughs> a little really bit. Did you all of this? Oh, yeah. It was an old project from Ark, and well, I improved a little bit here and a little thing there, but of course! You think I wouldn't make it all myself? A gift is not a gift if not given the right way. <laughs> they are so pretty. Thank you so much, Professor and Maria. Try them on, Shadow. Maria, you didn't do anything. Shut up. <laughs> That's so awesome. Those are like... So signature. I don't know. I grew up on this, so like the little kid comes out of you. <laughs> this is amazing. They've made an infinite energy source. That was awesome. They better not, like, accidentally walk out into that. They're gonna have some crazy A-train situation. Just, just turning Maria into is a water balloon. Of his training? What? Are you talking about Hugh Gibson races around the Ark? I'm pretty sure it's not. This freak should be the country's best defender. But instead, Robotnik is turning the ultimate life form in a fluffy pet. Well, you gotta give him a loving upbringing, otherwise you end around. up with a Homelander. How must it feel to spin around the planet non-stop to infinity? No boundaries, no limits. I don't know, but I would be very happy just to be able to live there. You know what, Maria? Sometimes I feel like I'm trapped on the Ark. To be honest with you, I think I'll never get out of here. So you live forever, we'll so- go down there. Maybe not today, and maybe not tomorrow. But we will go. I'm sure of that. Like, you're Maria, only trapped because of her, I was bro. Made with only one purpose. To be the creature that will heal and protect humanity. This is what I was created for. He really is Keanu Reeves. And I am so scared to fail. To be unable to heal humanity. And be unable to save you. If I fail, neither of us will get out of here. I spoke to the professor and... This is so trippy. So amazingly done. I keep forgetting I'm watching a short film. What the hell is going on right now? Hmm, an alteration in your time perception. 
maybe even distortion. For us, it was the blink of an eye. For you, it felt like an eternity. Have you felt like this before, Shadow? When I'm running, yeah, but not this time. I was just talking to her and I didn't get fast. At least not on purpose. What does it mean? That's crazy. He's too fast. To be honest, it is hard to say if it changed how Shadow perceives the time or if he really changed the time itself. It's true, the possibilities are endless with this amount of chaos energy. We will need to run some tests on this. What's I feel happening like it's good they're God doing God this far God from God Earth. Sick? He's a no, liability. It's impossible. It's something different. So, what is it? Shadow is growing. And he's getting more chaotic than I thought. What is this? Look at his little shadow socks. <laughs> Bro just looks really, really hungover. He'll be fine. They should be keeping an eye on that dude. I feel like with all this crazy stuff going on. Man, I gotta get hooked up to a cryo cryo vault at some point. While scientists stand around looking at how like much I'm setting off the charts. I don't know how to get to this point in my life. After the recent events with the specimen Shadow the Hedgehog at the Space Colony Arc, I have decided to run tests of the development of the creature. This is a high security room, so anything that happens inside should not risk the integrity of the Space Colony. Shadow, please now point your hand towards one of the targets and try to shoot it from where you are. I can't wait to see how things go horribly south. We haven't gotten to like, I feel like we're slowly getting into whatever horrible is going to happen. His little mittens. Stay focused, Shadow. Shadow, imagine that your energy is moving through your hands. I know you do they have to dress her like a Disney princess? Get, get her a sweater. I don't know. Maybe she likes it. I guess that is like lore stuff. I don't know. I don't know Maria that much. 99% of my shadow knowledge is from Sonic Adventure 2. Just the greatest game ever made. I was not expecting this. But I was expecting what were you two doing? So... It doesn't count. Uh, that's a good Robotnik quote right there. Well done. Every single day, more and more of our soldiers are dying in battle. The specimen is ready to fight. Go! We have no more time. Think on how many men will still be here if Robotnik had finally cooperated. Your instructions are clear. Leave no trace. Oh Neutralize dear. Anyone at Ark that knows about Project Shadow. Oh god. Bring the hedgehog and the professor to Earth. Uh oh. We'll start the training at once. Oh god. Yes. Are we allowed to open fire in case of resistance, sir? <laughs> and how do you expect to neutralize the ultimate life form? He just giggled. He 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 he. And how when do you we expect? We tested him in the sealed room. Did you already know he was able to do that, Grandpa? Well, Shadow is a hedgehog made out of synthetic chaos energy. It's impossible to predict what he could become. But well, why'd you make him? imagine what he would be capable of. Shadow's body keeps changing between a super hedgehog and a regular one. So that's why you cannot decode it. It's like he's transforming all the time. He is not a regular hedgehog and also not super. That's why he's like this. Precisely, Robotnik. Yes, but it makes decoding him even harder to do. It's impossible to read a sentence if the words are always moving around. Unless I... I make them stop. What do you mean? I feel like AI could take care of this. But you can also call them your one-way ticket to Earth. By keeping the chaos energy in a hold, they will lock your powers and DNA as they are right now. 
You will not be able to overuse your powers on the first days with these rings. Your body must first adapt to it, but pretty soon all will be back to normal. If that's my chance to cure Maria, they're like a dream. Thank you, Professor. Uh, later, I will take a sample of your DNA to assess our progress. Oh no, he's not gonna be at the station when they arrive. Those rings always look so Doesn't delicious. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna to. chew on it. I'm gonna taste his battery so metallicness. Soon, this place will be nothing but a memory of where I used to live and where I met my hero. <laughs> the place I was born and where I got my purpose. You guys are so emotional. We have a security breach at oh, the never space mind. He's there. Colony arc. Warning. We have a security breach at the space colony arc. I knew you two would be here. They're looking for you, Shadow. Go to the ejection room at the corridor E1. It was sealed off years ago, and it's the safest place for you now. Hey, Grandpa, what about you? Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. I just need to go to the lab to save some of the files. I'll catch up with you. Now go, go, go! Professor Gerald Robotnik. Oh, dear. We are here to take you and the weapon Shadow the Hedgehog into custody. What do you mean? I complied with the laws. I have done nothing wrong. And Project Shadow is still not complete. I need to save my granddaughter. That was not the deal. We need more time. I think I was not clear enough. You and the Hedgehog will come with us now. That's an order. Now drop the weapon. Oh, damn. Hmm. Stupid. That was kind of counterproductive. Huh? Where is he? I think that I was not clear. Oh, no. No way, bro. With one hand. That's so gangster. I make them human centipede each other. That's cool too, though. Look at this ring. It's looking like freaking Shang Chi over here. Monster, make him stop, or I will shoot. Surrender! Do a shadow. Strike him down. But Maria, Shoot her too. Is going to. But you stopped him already. Now put it down. Maria is right. Now go, quick, run to the ejection. When they get there, Maria's just like, just like human jelly from running at sonic speeds down the hallway. Actually, I don't know physics. This is so insanely well done, bro. At these speeds, too, you know he's, like, fracturing faces, you know what I mean? Like, the equivalent of getting hit with a baseball bat at, like, 10,000 miles an hour. Look at her go! I would absolutely let out a fart and just crop dust to that entire hallway on my way out. 200 grams of protein being digested in this hallway. <laughs> Oh God! Shadow, I love the story behind him just having more power than he knows what to do with. Told me I couldn't overuse my powers in the beginning, and the problem <laughs> is that I can't take them off anymore. But it's okay; they won't find us in here. Where did he go? Have you checked the cameras? We can't see anything. Just a knocked out squad at corridor 15. That's oh boy! It. We've been searching for hours now. This freak may have gone invisible, traveled through time, left a ship, or whatever the hell he can do. Wait, look at this. Hmm. Sealed off room. Smart. Be careful. Shadow. This is like the first place they looked. Over here. Come here, buddy. Let's talk. Let's see. What is this? 
It's him. Oh. Where? Camera turned off. Oh, this is paying attention. It's so cool watching him in his ball form. What a stud. Oh no. He should have just let him use the gun that he had, bro. Like he could have done this without using his power. Their sissiness has cost him everything. No. Don't shoot the bad guy, Shadow. Well, now look what happened. Oh no. He's too weak to fight it off and she's saving him. That's so sad. Well, she can't go in the pot anyway. She'll die on her. Kind of a lose-lose for her. I won't go without you. The people on Earth need you to be there. Be a hero to them, Shadow. Be all the hope that you were for me. Promise me, Shadow. But, Maria, I cannot leave you there. Get me out of here. I will protect us. There's no other way. Trust me, Shadow. I will be okay. I just wish I could go with you. But, Maria... Promise me, Shadow. Promise you will save them. Be a hero on Earth. Do it for me. Like, save us from... Yes. Phone call. Yes. I promise, Maria. Shadow. Promise you'll help them live their dreams. Believe me, I know you can. I'm That's too autistic the for the emotion in this, this scene. World. Sayonara. Shadow. No. The Damn, what an exit. What? Get away from the panel now. Don't play with me. Oh, God. Say it again. Get away. Look, I've got the three and you will move away. Damn, bro, this is sad as hell. Oh no! No! My smoke alarm absolutely destroying the the beauty of this scene. Maybe you guys didn't hear it. <laughs> Damn, dude. And now we all gotta deal with this evil hedgehog down here. Thanks a lot, governments. The hedgehog. The perfect creature. The one made to guide and protect humanity like a real shadow. Born to heal. Maria. Everything changed at that moment. At those milliseconds you took everything everything we had i never wanted to hurt anyone and she she was just a kid damn bro without his purpose now he is sleeping but someday he will wake up shadow will fill the world with darkness Shadow will bring total destruction! Was this really easier than just letting Robotnik raise him a little more? You know what I mean? Was this really an easier solution? The government just constantly sabotaging all humanity in so many ways and we just always have to deal with the crap. Obviously, they probably haven't really done this in real life, but they've probably done something pretty freaking similar to it, I'd imagine. Wow, though, man, that just got me so excited for the movie. Most of my shadow knowledge is from Sonic Adventure 2, so I just know, like, awesome evil shadow who's all hell-bent on world domination and all that awesome stuff. Either way, that was awesome. Leave a like and subscribe for more shadow stuff while the movie's, like, on the way. And subscribe to this amazing channel, too, because they clearly put freaking months and months and months, possibly even years, into making the ultimate shadow video, and I think that's beautiful. So absolutely go subscribe to them, too, and leave a like on the actual video so they're more inclined to make more of them. And I'll see you next time.